Welcome back to another One Piece video. Today we have Yamato getting into some OP06 content on the channel. I'm going to show a couple of games right after this, so if you want to skip ahead, uh, there's some timestamps at the bottom of the video. But just going to give a quick little deck breakdown and then get into that. And this deck right here is something that you're going to see all the time. Yamato is really, really strong, coming out in just a few weeks. And yeah, it's the first leader to have double attack. And if double attack wasn't good enough and having the yellow, being yellow wasn't good enough it actually has a an effect that you can activate once per turn as well if your opponent gets a three or less life then you can attach two dawn two rested dawn to one of your characters uh so it's very easy to spend dawn and i'm about to show you a bunch of ways to spend it um but yeah let's let's start off just by saying this deck is all gas no breaks all right it's a very aggressive build yamato of course is just inherently aggressive but this is a very very aggressive way to build the deck and i'm about to show you why so yamato is great for double attacking and swinging into the leader but not so great at clearing things so that's why we have uh the ohm combo in here the ohm holly combo to just fight back on board have these uh guys to attack characters on board while you are going face with your leader so we're going to the sky island kind of package where we have the shura of course to search out the sky island cards we have satori which is a very aggressive trigger and a 2k and then we have Gadatsu in here, which is just one of the staples in yellow, and it is a Sky Island card as well. We also have this new card, Onami, which is going to be a staple in pretty much every single yellow deck um, that uh, gives your leader or characters banish for the turn. And it's so good with the leader, of course, because then you have a double attack banish swing. That's so powerful. And if this card wasn't powerful enough, the trigger uh, being just a thunderbolt on a stick is very good just KOing a five or less character and then if that wasn't good enough then it also has 1k counter as well I don't know how they printed this card with this leader but that's a thing and you're just gonna have to deal with it and yeah it's broken so you gotta do it so the goal of the deck is to just keep going face obviously um so we want to be able to deal with pesky blockers and that's where this big boy comes in right here hody jones he is a 7 8 and he's got rush he can rest up to two of your opponents characters and or don which is unheard of in one piece pretty much uh, or at least on a good card uh, you, you do have to put a, a life card into your hand but it's totally worth it all right because if your opponent leaves open one for rad beam and they have a blocker it doesn't even matter this card is so strong. It's such a such a powerful endgame finisher. And even like you could play it sometimes when you have two life, two or more life left as well. And also, fun fact, you can actually get the effect off even if you have zero life. You don't you don't take a life and you just still get the effect. So uh, the card is very, very powerful. And uh, yeah, I mean, once you play it, of course, then you'll be able to get the the you'll, you'll be able to use two of the down that you rested to play it with Yamato's ability. Uh, if your opponent's at three or less life, which they always are, just because it literally takes one swing from your from your leader or one of your characters like there's a lot of there's a lot of four life leaders in the game now so i mean two swings of your of your yamato leader they're already at zero life uh one swing of your leader they're always going to be at three or less life for the ability and if there are four or less life like anything hitting them is going to activate the yamato pretty easy so we have the hody jones to rest stuff but then we also have some other cards in here like sugar uh, that will rest a 4 or less on play. It's also a 1k counter. Then we have the Ezo, which does the same thing, but it's a 2k counter. And then we have the Paradise card right here, which is no counter, but it's one cost and it rests a 4 or less. So it's when I say all gas, no breaks, that's what I really mean. Like there's there's no blockers in this deck. It's just rest their stuff, go face. All right. Sometimes clear a little bit, you know, uh, with some of your characters on the board, like the Ohm Holly thing, like I was saying, but a lot of resting. A lot of going face. And Amaru does the same thing as well. Uh, Amaru is so good with Yamato too. So not only does it have the amazing trigger to keep you alive sometimes. But yeah, this card rests a card when you're at one or less life. Which usually is happening because you're not defending anything. You're just going face. Um, and then you get plus 3k on one of your guys. And then uh, this card is so good with Yamato because you, you rest the 2 Don to play Amaru. And then you get to attach that 2 Don anyway. So you're spending 2 Don to rest something and to get plus 5k on something i don't know they this card totally might get i, I just released a video on ban predictions kind of thing so uh they're going to be announcing some some bans or restrictions in a few days this card is definitely on the list of cards that could get restricted or banned i'll look out for that but until that happens this card's going to be crazy in yamato and then last but not least we have the new zero cost event in yellow 
I'm pretty sure every color has a, a zero cost event now, but uh, yeah, this one's really good uh, because you do have some counterless cards like the Hody Jones, the events and whatever. Uh, but also the trigger is so good, it could just save you basically the Anel effect. And uh, you could actually stack this card with, or you could stack Amaru, whatever, with Kazuki Hiyori, which is a new 2K in yellow, which is probably going to be a staple in like most yellow decks, just because obviously yellow is known for their triggers, and this allowing you to stack your life is just super strong. And uh, yeah, you can put anything on there. You can put the Satori on there for just some more aggression. Uh, if you know your opponent's going to swing into you, you could put the, uh, if you're on your last life, you could put the zero cost in there just for a little cheeky surprise. You can even put the Thunderbolt in there as well. Like there's a lot of options, and uh, yeah, it's a 2K. It's a very good 2k. It's not searchable, but yeah. And that's the deck right there. Hope you like it if you try it out. It's not anything crazy compared to like all the other Yamato lists. But yeah, it's just pure aggression. And it's really fun to play. It's probably not as fun to play against, not gonna lie. Uh, double attack on a leader is just pretty aggressive. Uh, pretty, pretty oppressive, I should say. Hope you give it a try. Hope you like it. Hope you like the gameplay. Thank you for watching the video. Let me know down below what deck you want to see next for OPO6. And I will uh, get on that. Yeah. Peace out. Thank you for watching. It's your boy. This is going to be a very aggressive uh, matchup here. I mean, every every game is super aggressive with this leader, not going to lie. Uh, I guess you just keep the combo. Even though I still I still do want the Onami. He's got the stage. It's a great start. Yeah, I really like this... Uh, I really like this deck. I would play it too, but I'm going to be moving to Japan, so I'm not even really going to get to uh, do too much of set six. And then I think it falls off, honestly. Hidatsu or... No, I can't even take that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna skip like two sets pretty much. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, but it's still gonna be fun uh, for sure. Is this game hard to learn? I don't think so. I think it's actually one of the easier card games, but anything is gonna look really uh, overwhelming and uh, confusing if you don't know anything about uh, how to play it, you know. Onami is going to be a big card here. We do get a nice little uh, Gadatsu play. We gotta pay attention to what's in this trash here. He's doing the Yanji thing. Okay. I also need to pay attention to what he's getting off these uh, stages, the stage procs. He gets the the rush guy. Uh huh. That's the best one, pretty much. <laughs> he only has three Don though, so he can't really do too much here. He could play the uh he could play the bounce guy. He could bounce Holly or something, okay. We're okay with that. Uh yeah, I'm gonna trigger that for sure. Everything in my hand is counter, so we'll do that. We're gonna pop this. I mean the Onami play is kind of tempting, but yeah, this is the only time we're gonna get Gadatsu value for sure. Once he takes a life, then I get the uh, <clears throat> the Yamato ability. So honestly, maybe I go 6k first, like a weirdo. And then you go 7.
Yeah, he's making sure I'm not going to get the uh, value here. It's fine. He should take that one, yep. I mean, we just got through a lot of 2Ks. He's going to draw, he's going to draw a, a buttload more cards here, but. I'll probably go into the, the rush guy and then another, another Raju if I had to guess. He does pick up the judge. So if he wants to play judge next turn, he has to not mind us here. That's the thing. And I don't think he's going to be able to get away with a play that does not mind us here. He kind of has to mind us. I'm not sure why he chose the judge. It's going to be tough to play in this matchup. Mm -hmm. He is trying to build up to that judge next turn. I might be able to kill him here. It's possible. He's going to swing seven into one of my fives, I think. I don't know if I protect it. I uh, don't know. <clears throat> if I hit the banish, the banish is going to be hard to hit, bro. He's going to protect that shit a lot. Um, hmm. I could also play Sugar. But then, uh, I don't get the second effect of that. I'm gonna have how much? I'm gonna have an eight next turn. We'll probably counter over to nine k. Honestly, I think I let this one go. Like he could do the judge play next turn, and then and then like I could just sugar the the the, the blocker and then just win probably. Like it's not like he's gonna kill me. I could even start with a cheeky 5k if I want to. Just to get a card up before the before the double tech banish swing. <clears throat> and if he does take that, then I take a different route with my with my Don here. Okay, he got out of it. I think I go nine. Or do I just go, do I just ship 11? Honestly, 11 is pretty tempting. I probably just go 11. I think I like need to hit this. And that should, that should hit. It do. Yeah, we got one of those, one of those. Yeah, he like cannot take that. That is a fair block. All right, <clears throat> that's all I got there. He's gonna do the judge play. He's gonna get some cards in his hand. He's gonna get a full fucking board. He's gonna get a blocker, a rusher. I'll be a little close. <clears throat> he does have to ditch a card for the judge. Does he ditch? Does he have to ditch two for judge? He has to just two cards, yeah. Okay, so he won't have that much. He won't, he won't have that many cards in his hand, at least. Oh, four cards in his hand at the end of this. And I'm going to use all my counter to protect my guys, and we, ha we have so much counter in the hand. And all I need to keep is the uh, the sugar. He doesn't get the bounce something. He doesn't even get the rush guy. He didn't even get the rush one. He goes for the bounce instead of the uh, the rusher. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. 
I mean, these two are a must. He could have also, like, attacked with this first and then replaced it. If he had enough. No, he actually doesn't have the, uh, he doesn't have the rusher guy. He didn't have him in the trash. That's pretty huge. <clears throat> they did not assemble the full combo. Still a lot of it, but... Yeah, that means that all of our guys are going to live, and we should be able to get there. He's going to bounce my ohm to my hand, I guess. Just the biggest thing. And now I'm going to get through the blocker for two Dawn because sugar is nutty. Definitely protecting everything here. I'll probably just scoop on that if I had to guess. Doesn't really matter what I do at this point. Just just swing. Yeah. He draws a card, that's fine. <clears throat> Big doggo for the win. He said GG couldn't find my ECG. Yeah. GG, bro. True. That's what I said. That would have made it closer, but I did have a lot of counter anyway, so it's probably fine. He just wasn't going to have enough cards in his hand. He used so many 2Ks early on, but like he kind of had to. He honestly didn't really make any bad... Uh... He didn't really make bad plays. It was just... The onslaught of Yamato, it's just a, it's, it's so fast-paced, man. Every, every double attack swing is just so big. Good luck, have fun. I'll take second. Take him off the big mom curve, of course. Did I just redraw, like, the same hand? <clears throat> Alright, we do hit the ohm. And we hit the infamous doggo. Or should I go for the Onami thing? I think I need to go for the doggo still. <clears throat> it's just, uh, I need to be able to fight back on board while being so aggressive with my hero, you know? My leader. Nice. I'm so talented. I was not talented last game. Uh, man. I actually need to counter out of this. He's going to go uh, 7 to me. But I don't want to ditch the Onami, of course. So I'm never hard playing that. Puts top life to the bottom. Okay. Okay, that's just a huge pickup. He will get a life if I kill this, though. It's kind of annoying. This card is so cracked, bro. This card is actually so fucking good. I'm still going to do the Gadatsu play anyway. Oh, he picked no cards to draw. Alright, alright. <clears throat> this is a little risky because now I could Thunderbolt this, but... Or Onami it or whatever. But I still like it in this order anyway. Just because he like had to ditch for that, but he didn't. 
All right. Maybe we got a shot. Maybe we got a shot. I cannot ditch my own Nami, man. I cannot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I clicked too fast. I clicked too fast, bro. Uh... I looked down for... Oh my god. Alright, we're going to pretend that I did not hit a very good trigger right now. We're just going to pretend, alright? Let's just pretend for a sec, all right? I'm okay with that. Uh, okay, I could actually put the uh, I could actually put this on my life, by the way. It's kind of interesting. I want to go for the banish before I swing into this. Just so he has less counter in his hand. And I want to go two for Hiyori. We got rid of a Lin Lin and a Lin Lin. Okay. Okay. Me likey. So six, seven. Do I even need to trade into this if I'm doing the Hiori thing though? What if I just go face? Is that crazy? It's a little risky. It do be a little risky. All right, I'll be responsible. Maybe I was supposed to go face, though. Because now this single hit barely even means anything, because I just want to double attack him. But I know the last one is something good, too. Hmm. Yeah, this was not even that great. I should have just, uh, I should have just went full face. Cause now, now putting this in the life is not even. I'm not even gonna die here anyway. <laughs> it's kind of irrelevant, but I'll do it anyway. And it was another Satori. <clears throat> the last one is probably beige. Uh, I guess I'm doing this. I also could just like put a Hody and just say that I'm fine either way. Or I could put Satori. Satori and just trigger it, yeah. I probably want the Satori in there. There's no way I'm dying, right? Then I have less counter, but... This was scuffed, man. I should've just went face. Should've went face, went with the original play and put the, the zero in there, I think. Uh, that's true. That is an option. He can go... He could go 11k. I have 2, 4, 6, 9... Okay, I cannot trigger that. Alright, well, we survive. Oh! Just don't have another one. Oh my god. Did he get there? Wait, do I have it by 1? I have it by 1, I think. Alright, that was not the most clean game, but we'll take it, bro. We'll take it. Jesus Christ. We will freaking take it, bro. Ay, ay, ay. 
20k for the win. Oh, that was close. I mean, that should not have been as close because I should have just triggered the Satori. Uh, but yeah. Dude, this is a tough matchup, man. They are really aggressive, especially when they hit that that Kiku, man. That Okiku. That is uh that is a hell of a card.